Yo, my people, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Patala FC. Hope your weekend was blessed the first weekend of December. Hope y'all are good. Chelsea entered December with a win against Brighton. It's the third time that Pochettino has beaten the Zerbi since Poch became the manager of Chelsea Football Club. Quite an interesting stat. Interesting game. Topsy Turby here and there, but that's Chelsea's season right now. We're being called the great entertainers of the Premier League, and I, I believe it's because all the score lines are amazing. 4-1s, 4-4s, 3-2s. Yeah, yeah, we just hope that we're not on the end of any defeats that have heavy numbers on the other side and we don't score. So it's a dismal season, regardless, a rebuild season. The lineup shocked me today because it's another game week of no Christopher Nkungu. Um, when is Nkungu coming back? I don't know if, if Poch is deploying this as a tactic in the press um, to almost make other managers play on it in terms of their tactic towards us or against us. But hey, we're another week of no Lavia, no Christopher Nkunku. But the lineup was interesting because we deployed De Sassi as a right back again. It's uh, it's come to my attention or I've realized that Poch will be one of the most unpredictable managers we might have in the last decade, to be honest. Because he he does things that other managers really wouldn't do. Um, De Sassi has been known to be a centre-back for the team. This is the second time he's played him as a right-back in the league. It nullifies us in terms of that right-back, right-wing-back play going forward because De Sassi won't do that. But it gives us a lot of solidity in defence. And it's good when you're trying to control a game. Um, in the past, when a team becomes complacent, relaxing, saying, uh, we're not going to attack now that we have the lead, it's it's seen as a weakness and the other team can score against you but it's almost like Porsche doesn't mind that if we can control the game because we have the right players to do so so at 2-0 i wouldn't say we were comfortable we were trying to control the game unable to put the third goal and yeah then we concede yeah Conor Gallagher got, get a red, got a red card in this game but we'll jump into the boxes actually first one positives Enzo Fernandez gets a brace First goals in the Premier League uh, <laughs> after the 100 million signing, uh, quite a hefty fee, yes. Um, but I believe Enzo pays it back in terms of his midfield play, passing the ball, never losing possession, drawing fouls and keeping us in possession. So good game from Enzo. I won't give him too much praise because Enzo hasn't given us the output that we expected. It's a good brace. Um, second, is, second goal is a penalty. Um, well taken, composed for a young player, uh, but even Cole Palmer has proven that it seems we have some good penalty takers in the team at the moment, which was uh, something that we really had in Jorginho as our trustworthy taker when he was at the club, but it seems we are still comfortable in terms of penalties. And Enzo gets the first box. Second box, interesting one because it seems Barrio Shield is back and he's not a rotation player. It's interesting when you think about the centre-backs at Chelsea. Chaloba is still at Chelsea. Wesley Fofana is still at Chelsea. Next season, high probability that the legendary Thiago Silva won't be here. We'll get to the legendary Thiago Silva. But look at all these centre-backs that we have. Benoit Badia-Shield today was quite amazing. He gets an assist. He's composed at the back. Next to Thiago Silva, I'm starting to consider that Badia-Shield could be the second most composed defender that we have in the club or in the squad right now because he plays well and passing range seems to be superior to most of the other players we were praising levi colwell beginning of the season for always looking for that long ball over the top but betty Sio looks more capable of those passes than levi colwell and levi colwell had a good game scored as well first goal for for chelsea first goal in the premier league Congrats to the boy. Like those are those are like dreams come true for these players, and that's amazing. But Betty Shield gets the box. There will be special shout-outs. I mean, before we even move on to more attacking players and so on, Robert Sanchez today for me, immense. It was gonna be difficult to keep a clean sheet against Brighton. They haven't they haven't gone without scoring in almost 40 games, I believe. They score every single game. So 
we are at home and at 2-0 it looks like we might get a comfortable win but as soon as it's 2-1 any scoreline was possible so we get the win and i'm glad about that third box for the second game week in a row we lose our captain through a red card so Rhys James and now Conor Gallagher, who had the armband on, is sent off for two yellow cards um, in the first half, actually. And the second one, you can see that Gallagher just has to be that player that lunges for the ball. He's not going to pull out of a 50-50 to win the ball. And in this case, you, there are those instances where you miss and it's uh, you catch the player. So it's an unfortunate red card. It does cost us a man and a player, but... At least it doesn't cost us the game in this instance. But of course, in terms of discipline, we need to be a lot better. We're exposing now that we are a young team. It's almost like we expose Spurs as in discipline. And then everyone else has come to expose our indiscipline. Newcastle and now Brighton. So we've had to have 10 men on the fields, um, finishing games with 10 men. And it's it's quite unsettling. It's 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 very worrying. But I think over time, we'll gain experience. If there's a season where we can make mistakes and players can be pulled down to their worst of worst and then recover this is the season and i believe it's it's fine for now because (laughs) we're in the rebuild so players need to make those mistakes now we can't have these mistakes when we're trying to be that team that regains an identity and goes for trophies but yeah final box the legendary tiago silva the oldest premier league defender ever and such historic feats are to be emphasized because as football fans we were there to witness it whether it's televised those in stanford bridge the the brighton fans that were in stanford bridge they witnessed the oldest premier league defender play today and tiago silva will continue to break records every time that he steps on the pitch from here forth until he no longer plays in the premier league so Shout out to Thiago Silva for being so immense. Today, he saved us on countless occasions and he gets better with, with time. Like when, when it gets more difficult, when we are in a more sticky situation, Thiago Silva gets better. That's a world-class player. That is a world-class defender, a leader. So many words to describe the man. His career has been so long and his journey has been amazing going all those years at PSG without winning the Champions League, getting to the final under Tuchel and then coming to Chelsea and finally winning the Champions League as a player. Poetic that he did it at Chelsea. We love you, Thiago Silva. Oh, Thiago Silva. Let's get it, yo.